Welcome back to some professional StarCraft 2. Let me introduce to you the most relatable Terran in the top left. The people's Terran. It is Cure. Up against the number one Protoss player in Korea and the world. The smiling assassin. It is Hero. So on paper, Hero has the edge here. A lot of people would say that. But Cure's actually gotten the better of them. Cure perpetually underestimated. I honestly, I think estimated pretty well at this point. But if you want to see the people's tearing come out ahead, and honestly, I'm always rooting for him, but in like kind of a backhanded man. Or if you want to see Hero take another ESL Cup Finals home, well, like, subscribe, Jimmy. What are we at? At, at a thousand. A thousand and sixty-five likes. I'll cast another series. And, and I'll probably do it anyways. But thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. We're getting started early. The Zealot's gone down. The Adept in the main. The Command Center not delayed. And Hero decides to cancel the shade. So, a bit of early aggression. But because Kira went for the Reactor Marines... As opposed to a Reaper into Reactor, he's going to have enough of these early units, at least to strongly discourage the activities of uh, the early Gateway units here. But the... Wow. Hero using the Adept Shade to give vision to the Stalker to try to kite back the Marines. And pretty successful so far. Cure dancing back and forth. Yeah, I hope I make your day a little bit better. Uh, I think these two are pretty evenly matched at the moment. Honestly, I'm not sure what Kira's going to be bringing to the table. But I know it's going to be something that you'll probably expect. But with solid execution and a surprisingly strong uh, amount of macro. That is Kira's specialty. He doesn't hit you with the uh, most devastating target fire or pinpoint multitasking. He's honestly like beyond... You might enjoy for a night, but Cure's the Terran you want home uh, when you come home from work every day. All right, Cure's been, been putting together the most stable builds and the most solid Terran for many, many years now, up, at, up to and including his GSL Championship, and is currently actually ranked the second Terran in the world, uh, by the way, after Malru, and then closely followed by Clem and Beyond. But Beyond is a, a bit of a roller coaster to follow, as you know. Uh, the, the stock uh, price of his wrists kind of determining his current state. Whereas Cure has just this level of consistency we should all aspire to. And so far, well, actually doing a double marine drop. To start things off, five minutes, two base. What does Hero have to match it? Blink Stalkers back at home. Knowing that with the Reactored Marines, there's uh, it, it's unlikely that the Blink Stalkers are going to get a lot of damage done on the other side. He clearly suspects some aggression. He even got into the base, saw the factory timing before, and now will confirm a lot of that information with the Observer. But, but, does he know about the Metavax? He blinks the wrong way! Just as the Metavax boost into the main, Hero was running away from his natural. And that means terrible, terrible damage will be dealt here by the Marine. Stutter stepping forward. Seven probes down, picks up, gets out. He forced the blink back. Cure just giving him the runaround now. Solidly done. Getting seven probes and killing some stalkers. Oh my, that's uh, pretty dark. Right there, the Moopies waiting for their next meal. Ah, this map full. The natives have taken over. But Cure... Getting that much done with the early bio pressure. Look at the worker count. 48 to 47. Hero only now catching up somewhat. The Observer... It saw the Metavax, I believe. I, actually, no, this is the Observer from the main. Nope. No, it's not. He just has two Observers wandering around for all the good it did him. Just a little late on spotting the medevacs. It was just a straight up 16 marine 2 medevac play. Which is almost deceptively simple. Uh, cure in a nutshell. So, Hero trying to outthink 
cure instead gets blindsided by the double drop and now finds himself i believe that was yeah just an immortal coming out now he's got some templar the reaper wall well the positioning's a bit awkward here with four marauders though he may be able to curve those marauder grenades over the top don't ask me how this works all right terran ingenuity as they shoot up to the high ground and knock down the cyber core and a gateway for pretty much free there. And might I add, a Reaper never was built. So the Reaper, while not finding a lot of use besides being a liability. There is a warp prism on the other side as well, though. Handful of charged lots are warped in. Hero doesn't... He doesn't even have a forge. Delays the third command center with seconds on the clock here. SCVs will finish it up. Another medevac drop coming in, looking for an opportunity. Doesn't find enough probes for his liking. Goes for the natural instead. Drops out a Widowmine right in that little nook by the minerals there. Blink Stalkers will deal with it. And actually, the bio army is going back. So not able to take full advantage of this opportunity. Cure backs off. Does he have an armory done? No, he has plus one, but uh, no armory. No cloak on those mines. Hero into the main. Here, a, a little late on responding to it. Loses five SCVs. Ghost Academy's delayed. Storm is halfway done, as Hero seems to have uh, put Cure on the back foot here. He retreats with all of his units. Gonna sit back at home and make sure he can defend. And he should be able to, as even with Storm done here, there's nine medevacs on the field. 16 marauders, 30 marines. The supply gap is quite significant. Storm is completed. So with one second left, Hero moving into position. Kira accidentally picks up some of those units into the medevacs, trying to juggle the storms forward. Charge lots there. Gets one of the Templar out in the center. Medevacs weather the storm here for most of the bio units. Another one just coating the front line, but the medevacs are just too much in order to counteract it. Definite selecto army usage from Cure. One more storm will melt through a few of the marines, but overall the medevacs more than enough to deal with the relatively moderate amount of Templar there. Storm does not stack. So at the end of the day, uh, unless you're able to line up several of them or follow it up in some fashion. Curious, uh, widow mine micro, if you would. What does he have? Storm? No. Some some charge loss in that prism. Vikings. Chasing it down, but the charge lots already getting the damage done. Cares to be very careful not to be caught out of position there. Oh. Side steps. The widow mine takes it out. Warp prism is taken down. Ghost goes down. Sliced up. The charge lots are cleaned up. Still cure maintains a significant army supply advantage. Patient with bringing it to bear. Hero dodges out of another Widowmon shot. And while he's he's been passive, at least uh, generally for the last few minutes, Gear has not been passive. Did I say passive? And then I said passive again? He's been patient. All right patient and he's been passive but he's been building up that's what i was leading into all right he's been building up nearly maxed out army storms will blunt the force of the initial attack there are oh lands an emp shield battery overcharge not going to solve that problem goes down widow mines hit the archons that are wandering in from the side still a couple templar one in the war prism but easily dispatched a lot of the bio army is going to be taken out, but not nearly enough DPS to deal with the rest. The storms are getting near maximum damage, but the medevacs are doing what they do best, keeping these units intact for long enough to grind through. He's tearing through the top right and cure. Looks like he'll be taking game one almost inevitably here. Hero just couldn't find his footing and eventually gets run down by the superior macro of cure it wasn't flashy but he just has far too much to handle 
I like how Kira kind of just ignored the meta. He just ignored um, the usual give and take of like Blink Stalker and Widow Mind Drop. And he just went for the double drop, got the damage done, and, and leaned on that for the rest of the game. <laughs> Hero trying to outmaneuver him, but uh, Akira not getting caught out. A solid game to start things off. And Hero might want to go back to the drawing board. Uh, find something... I don't know, maybe Stargate? I'm not actually sure how you deal with Kira. He's just so consistent. Uh, with anything that isn't some sort of hyper cheese. It's unlikely you're going to be able to keep up with the sheer amount of army he puts on the field. But Jimmy, can we see what Hero comes up with in game two? Thank you. Thank you. Dragon Scales. I think Hero was sizing up that little wall-off location there. Another Zealot start. This time, Kier will be going for the Reaper, but he adds on the SCV scout. I like that. All right. This is... Kier is a Terran you can emulate. For those handful of you that actually play ladder games, because he's going for Reaper, which you might think is a better option for scouting, the problem is, if you go Reaper and they dodge it with the Zealot, you have nothing at home because you're, you're building potentially a reactor behind if you don't scout. But, but Kier's actually building marines out of this. He's building marines instead of the reactor early on, just to make sure. So the SCV scout is to make sure the Reaper is going to get the job done. So covering his bases literally and figuratively, Kier off to a strong start. Now, on the other side of things, that Zealot's going to stay at home. Everything, he's not going to be losing any units here. Adept. Reaper comes close enough, spots the Adept on the high ground, backs off. So. Making sure he's safe and sound. There's even a bunker on the other side of the map. Here's the thing. Is even though Hero showed up unannounced with units in the previous match, Kira just handled it. Of course, that did a lot come down to the amount of marines he had off the reactor early. Because those cyber core units just don't come out until the reactor can be finished if you go for it first. So, the subtle... Not so subtle, really. Just like the basic differences in Terran openers on display here. Do the little grenade thing! Doesn't even try it? Wait, does he... Did he see the uh, twilight? Not quite. So, Beyond would have done the grenade thing, 100%. Would it have mattered? Well, then the Reaper's trapped inside, but... <laughs> Reaper jousting with the Hellion. Or, uh, not the Reaper jousting with the Hellion. That's not, that's TBT. But the Zealot gets a tap on it. Adept finishes it off. The Hellion will draw the Adept to the side, but Reaper goes down. Is that a single Widowman? Why not? Well, the intent will be to keep the medevac alive. If the Widowmine gets any damage, it's just a bonus. Blink. 13 seconds out, so that's going to line up real nicely here. Even though this is uh, on the quicker side of any sort of Widowmine drop, it's uh, 430, which is on the very... Uh, <laughs> the hell are you like, wait a second. Can I just... Well, not really. All right, Hellion gets in. Widowmine drop is i don't know if it's been spotted uh he's suspicious he may have spotted with the adept out there but observer will certainly see it and there you go hello there i don't know oh, i feel like someone's watching me well what am i will be dealt with before i can get the shot off so overall no damage dealt. Perfect game so far from Hero. Deflected and destroyed every bit of early pressure. 
and now has the Blink Stalkers to bring to bear. He dealt with the half-hearted Widowmine drop. He's dealt with the Reaper. He's denied any additional scouting. There's no reason not to come across the map now. Oh my god. <laughs> the Metavac <laughs> turns tail there. The Stalkers are hunting it. We'll see if it makes it home. Oof. The Observer. The Observer picks it up in the corner. Why is the Observer in the... Well. That'll be interesting. Incredibly quick. Yeah. Storm is on the way. Already. Even before... I believe before charge. Indeed it is. In this game... Cure doesn't have that army supply advantage. He's not going to have the sheer meat, the biomass, in, in order to roll over everything on the ground. He does not have that level of production. Hero, still, I, honestly, I'm not even sure how this really happens. But despite being only on two base, he does have a third command center building. But Kira has a, he's, like I said, he's just very diligent about that macro. The details. Uh, when it comes to unit production. Microing your macro is a real thing. And Kira's a specialist at it. And that's how he manages to get more workers than a Protoss player who got three Nexi. And has Chrono Boost. Like, Terrans are supposed to have less workers. You, It takes about two SCVs of build time to build that orbital command. On top of the fact they don't have Chrono. So, that should all add up to mean... On top of the fact that, that that hero has another base, which is starting to add up now. But the fact that that Cure had a worker lead means that hero likely cut probes at some point. But also outlines how focused Cure is on production. Scan spots the Templar. There's already a Ghost Academy done. Here, just keeping his powder dry. Waiting back on two bases. It seems like he's he's content to uh, wait to move out at least until he gets his ghosts on the field. Playing it very safe there. Once you have the ghosts, you have that uh, basic counter to you know just pro toss existentially really, but specifically Templar. Did he just build three auto turret to kill a Spylon? You dare. You're goddamn right. Alright. Details. And then the pro. <laughs> Look at the Earth's map vision. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Look at that mini map. Hero has map hacks. He's put a lot of effort into put it, getting map hacks right now, but he has them. He has perfect vision. Uh, on pretty much the entire map. That medevac still in the corner. That will be the metric of when Kira uses the Selecta Army Hockey at this point. But yeah, Hero's Vision, he knows the map is dark. And full of Terrans. So light it up, light it up however you can. Oh, it's beautiful. Like, I th when I went to his vision, I thought I wasn't on the uh, Observer Cam. I thought I was still on the, the Caster Cam where you can see- No! No! It's Hero. He sees all, which means he... But, StarCraft is a game of speed and quick decision-making. And I think the decision to go for a couple feedbacks and then get EMP'd before getting a storm was probably not the best one. A storm makes up for some of it, but... Yes, the feedbacks are good, but... I don't know if he didn't have enough energy, maybe? I... But that was a missed opportunity there. As Hero had two Templar in position to do devastating damage. The double rub on the high ground. EMP. Can he easily target? Oh, more Storm, though. He kind of leans into it. Metafacts are nearly out of energy. The feedback's now paying off. But Kira just has so much army supply. Bearing down and tearing through. Target fire on the Colossus. Knocks it to the ground. The Siege Tank's doing a lot of damage here. Hero, try to turn the tides with the Storm. And, uh, well, there's ten... Ten probe kills. Where? Where did those probe kills come from? Is there a Widowmine drop somewhere? 
I'm not... Right, this widow mine doesn't have any kills. About to kill one of the stalkers, but... Where did ten probes die? I have no idea. I have to assume. There's no medevac in the corner. So... Hmm. Inter oh, auto turrets. Auto turrets from the Raven. Probably in the main. Uh, get ten probe kills. Hero still has plenty. And the storms have added up. The disruptors are dangerous enough. The cure is not able to lay down a killing blow quite yet. This widow mine doing a surprising amount even hits a Colossus here, which uh, mostly the shields. Though any health damage will not be repaired, as I don't think the Terrans are going to be particularly open to the idea at the moment. Trying to replenish those Spylons. But Cure washed up against the splash damage there. And it just was a bit much at the end of the day. Not able to break through. Hero holds. And... Close. I don't know if he noticed he didn't hit the, the widow mine there, but... Ah, uh, two twos on the way. Four cure. Plus three starts for hero. So he's had a... Uh... Oh, he has an upgrade advantage. At the moment, though slight. Is there extended thermal lamps? The Colossi have their range. Able to keep, uh, at least on paper, the bio at arm's reach. Or the laser arms, thermal lances. Vikings are on the way. How many Vikings? Not on the way. There's four of them going on six. Enough to deal with a couple Colossi. Especially if he finds a nice position where the Stalkers can't take him out immediately. Cure is maxed out. 2-2 two, two, closing in. The next moment to get some real damage done. Charge lot. Slicing through some of the SCVs. Citizens arrest. They band together and take it out. Zealot goes down. Here with 125 army supply. Hero getting there and also adding on essentially the rest of the tech. Plus three weapons, plus two armor. Observer speed. Dark shrine. More ruptors. More feedbacks. Add some storms. A little bit of everything. Blanks in. Eats a couple mine hits. They are eventually cleaned up. Observer helps out with that. And Cure is driven back for now. He's already started his 3-3. As a good spread of production between the bio, the ghosts. Which I guess fall in that category, but are worth mentioning. Vikings and Widow Mines. All the fixins here. To deal with your conventional ground-based Protoss army. The real danger at the end of the day is going to be the Disruptors. The Disruptors and their ability to just blast through the bio, mostly ignoring EMP. If you do not have, if you're not, one, beyond, and two, uh, you don't have ranged liberators. Eventually the disruptors, one half the double Ds of destruction, become a game changer. The other half of those Ds are Ds Templar. Uh, as DT Blink is on the way. The ooh, War Prism goes down. I believe there were several Templar in there. Gotta be a little careful of your own disruptor shots. The Bio Army is so meaty right now. And without the War Prism to be able to reposition some of the splash damage, he is reliant on disruptor hits. Hero is sitting on 10 gates. He's got double rubble. There's the fusion core from Cure. As much as I would love an attempt at battle cruisers, that's certainly for advanced ballistics. He's got a second starport on the way. So Cure is maintaining this level of production, but Hero has a very dangerous army on the field. Yes, the Terran army can beat it, but it is a very technical process. And a lot of uh, the top Terrans make it look way easier than it is. Cure is setting up for a full surround here. But if either side gets bitten off, and Hero knows it, Hero's been watching, Hero's 
Main priority this game has been map vision, and only secondary has been fighting, because knowledge is power, much like pylons. And pylons give you knowledge and power, therefore making them the best building in the game. Prove me wrong. Change my mind. Well, the bio army counterflanking, aka biting off a small bit of the army that wandered out in front. The stalker's not nearly enough. Disrupt their shot hits nothing but rocks. And there's no geologist with which to dispute it. Storm's trying to come in again. Cure. We're really starting it. These armies are so dangerous to each other. The ghost. Whoa. Now everyone started splitting there. That disruptor shot felt like it went on forever, but Cure finds the tummy. He's got four liberators out at the time, but Hero is keeping it together. This game is heating up. I will say it was a lukewarm start to this series, but now we're in the thick of it here. Cure at the edge of his ability to keep these units together, but Hero is struggling to bring all of his army to bear. Hero's production is going up against Hero's just innate killer instinct when it comes to Protoss. Sometimes he misses the details, but a lot of the time he's able to lay down the kill before his opponent. That's why he's called the Smiling Assassin. He'll give you a wink and then shiv you in the side with some Dark Templar. But right now, no DTs are going to save him from losing the uh, Nexus on the right side as the disruptors are flung through into the front line. Third base, SCBs are pulled off the line. Vikings knocking down the Colossi. Colossi targeted on the unbuilt command center, but the ground army is gone. Another Colossus shows up. Vikings are wandering around. Prime Colossus targets left unkilled. We're going into a base train. 25 probes down, 20 SCVs, 140 supply apiece, but that will not hold. The Liberator's on the high ground, trying to hold the line. Trying to hold whatever level of production Cure is able to get. Cure, driven back by some of the stalkers on the other side. It looks like Hero is consolidating his forces more quickly than Cure is able to build his defenses. And Cure, oh, the supply starting to dip. The medevacs, even the probes getting in on the action. Six more SCVs. Orbital burning. And as the smoke continues, the Vikings are still out here. They kind of wandered off mid-fight, and it looks like they aren't going to make it back home. And now Cure in a tough position. He's got plenty of command centers, but does he have anywhere with which he can reliably mine? Building armor and high sack auto tracking are done. His command centers are forming an awkward choke point, but here come the rest of the armies. Advanced Ballistics, did he lose the Fusion Core? No. Did he not get Advanced Ballistics? I'm not sure what happened to that. Uh, or maybe he just never started, I just thought in my head. Disruptor shot. Oh, another one. That, there's the Fusion Core. I didn't even realize, another Ruptor shot, the Fade Away. Doing enough for now. What is this? A, another bad. <laughs> Units are just wandering off. The building armor, the neo-steel armor here, helping out a lot on the planetary, but a storm comes through. Didn't even realize there were still Templar on the field. Cure is running out of money to repair. He has no minerals with I think his SCV stopped repairing because he ran out of minerals for a moment there. They just didn't have the budget. And now Hero, with not too much more, Oh, Disruptor gets a couple Marauders. Storms wash over as everybody piles in. Command centers in the sky. SCVs standing by. Medivacs have nothing left, so they'll just sit here and fly. Oh, my. Oh, Cure, one bad hit away from, uh, die. Nope. I didn't... Well, the Colossi. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on under here. The planetary's still doing damage. Hero doesn't really need to risk it here, but he may very well get it. He loses another Colossus. But the game is just devastating to both sides. But at the end of the day, it looks like Hero is going to be the one in a winning possession. Cure has the upgrades. He still has some command centers. His investment in building armor. Oh, wait, is that... There's a Liberator with 10 kills. And that's what keep 
what is keeping Hero at bay? That's not a super pylon! Ah! Oh, what a hectic game. Oh my, but it's still... That's a plus three liberate. Two shot stalkers. Oh my god, he's trying to dodge. God, that thing, it's so hard. That hits harder than balance patches against Protoss right there. God. Still hitting probes. Cure! You can't let a Terran live this long! The mules are dropping! Hero! The mules are dropping! This is- there's no time for this! You need to go! The stonks are not in your favor! Cure could rebuild if, if mules are allowed to mine from a couple bases. It is a possibility here. That Terran army can become incredibly cost-effective. It's not quite there yet. There's still enough charge lots. There's still enough zealots. Archons. Wait, what? A hero leaving some of his army kind of out to dry here. Targets down a couple archons. The disruptor just as dangerous to zealots as it is to the bio army. Picks up and dodges for a moment. Cure. Not giving this up yet. A tenacious Terran. Some of the most dramatic long-term games have have become have existed because Kira refuses to die. And also ended up in a position he probably shouldn't have been. But but who's flanking who here? Disruptors. Not quite where they need to be in the fight. Trying to target down a ghost hero. Kind of wasting a lot of time on that. But another disruptor shot. Tries to chase down the marauders. There's just not enough behind it. It's close, but not close enough. Kira will be forced to tap out in game two. GG. Whew. After 22 minutes, almost dead even units lost. Heroes just able to mine a little bit more. 69 zealots down for the count and a nice game for Hero. Oh, just game two. Hero holds on. Here just battles. Not willing to give it up. And you know what? Maybe only has a 10% chance, but Kira's one of those Terrans. I think a lot of players are a little bit too quick to tap it out. I know it depends on the sort of tournament you're in. Like, in the uh, World Finals, you might be a little more reluctant than in, in your, your typical weekly tournament. But Kira, I think, waits the appropriate amount of time. Like, until you get under that 2% chance... Maybe even a little less. Um, once the chance becomes essentially... Oh, and Jimmy? Oh. Once the chance is like, maybe uh, his mom will pick up the phone and his internet will disconnect. Well, maybe it's time to leave then. But while you still have four or five command centers, while you still have such great upgrades and any counter damage, there's no reason to tap it out. Cures come back from situations similar to that before. So, I appreciate... Now, now every game, I don't know. But I appreciate the willingness to play it out. Unfortunately, Cure probably doesn't appreciate Hero's diligence about scouting for proxy racks here on Gresvin. As, uh, he just... He just cancels it. He just gives up. It is a, a Reaper proxy. So, he was gonna go two racks, Reaper... Oh my. That's not a B on SCV. That SCV doesn't have the innate evasion capabilities. Well. Um. This has not gone well. So far, almost everything that could go wrong has. I guess he hasn't lost the SCV. The Reaper will get a probe kill. Was there a Zealot built? He didn't build a Zealot, so I take it back. This is starting to get a little dicey. Will he finish the bunker? Oh, no. Oh, it's a... Di well, I think Hero was trying to do, like, a measured response. Like, okay, I, he canceled one of the racks. It's only going to be a Reaper or two. Whatever. But now there's a bunker at the natural. And he still even has the SCV. So... 
hero didn't quite take it seriously enough. And now he's got quite a thorn in his mineral line. Second Reaper comes back and deals with the probe that was being very annoying at the door. Barracks on in flight home. So, uh, now what? Bunker, not salvaged in time. No 75 mineral refund. Now the Reaper gets to the Reaper wall, which I, I guess worked. Adept is reaching past the picket fence and slapping the bunker. A Widow Mine, the only unit that can't go in the bunker that Cure has, shows up. <laughs> Grenades. We'll get one of the probes. Slips into the main. God, Reapers are annoying. Interesting choice to go to the right side here. Instead of behind the mineral line. Well, ends up losing that Reaper. N Warp Gate is done for his one gateway. Hero taking a third. Where Cure is opting for the Widow Mind Drop. Which is a sentence I've definitely said many times before. Already a Spylon, it looks like. Or he's just patrolling, expecting pretty much exactly this. He already saw the mine, so... Uh, just trying to get some of that warning. Cure slaps him down a depot. Wait, what? Hero completes the shade. Trying to call a bluff or just... Uh, no, no, Cure. Oh, siege tank. Yep. <laughs> Cancels the shade. Anyways, Widow Mind Drop on the way. Hero, let's go to the hero cam. So I believe the medevac. Nope, he saw it. Yep. He's already blinking for you. He kind of misblinked there, unfortunately. And that means the medevac. Nope, not, not quite there. I, I, Kira realizes he flew over a pylon, so. Uh, he's not going to commit. Mind drop into Cloak Banshee. That is quite a reach from Cure here. But it's one of those that it, it may hit so late that it becomes good again. Like, at this stage of the game, are you expecting Cloak Banshee? No. <laughs> Going for already the meta... Here we are again. Observers. The, um... Parole officers of the medevacs like sir sir, please. I don't want to see you dropping those mines in again What did we talk about? That's enough of that we talked about we both know widow mines are uh, frowned upon in polite society and most society and most importantly by me winter who's talking in both first and third person right now because of such an innate Dislike of Widow Mines in general, but an appreciation for Cure, who is their greatest advocate. Meanwhile, Blink Stalkers. Into the main. Take out that depot with prejudice. And uh, then Blink right out with a few of them going in to the uh, War Prison. So some of the SCVs softened up. I guess from the adepts earlier? Well. Gets two SCVs. Not, not convinced that's devastating damage. Unfortunately, that means Hero not quite on point dealing with the Widow Mind Drop. Will end up losing three probes. Cure. Oh, he comes back for the second one. And manages to boost away just in time here. And Hero. Oh, oh. Thankfully for Cure, or for Hero, the Marines did not target. Oh my god, the cloak banshee's out of nowhere! Oh my god, it's terrible, terrible damage. 22 kills? This banshee is 10 kills. 
Oh, it's still going. It's got one HP and zero fucks. I don't... Wow. The late, late, late Cloak Banshees. Still. Oh my god. That was devastating. 23 probes. I mean, Heroes had three next eye for quite a bit, so... Kira really did need that sort of damage in order to uh, stay in it. But I did not expect the... I, I, I said it. I hedged my bets on that commentary, I think. With, well, they're going to be so late that no... Like, they're so late, nobody's even thinking about Cloak Manchies anymore. It's like eight minutes in. The Cloak Banshees? What is this Twitch chat level backseat bullsh... And then they come in and get 20-something kills. Which... Well, that puts the, the game right back towards even, I think. Because Hero was starting to run away with it economically. Amount of ag sent out. It's going to be another Widow Mine drop. Who would have thought? Crazy strat. Boost is way in. Oh, but this time. Well, the probe spotted it and the stalkers are on standby. What is in there? Why is that? I'm pretty sure... Did he do a storm drop? Either way, it didn't really kill anything. I... He has an Archon in the prism now. Lots of Templar on the field. Third command center. Cure, very patient with that third command center. He's had the third for most of the games, but has not deigned to take it until well into like it's ten minutes in. Third base is at five minutes. It wouldn't even be considered particularly early, but ten minutes. Well, here comes hero. This. I think he did more damage. Well, eh, not, not super impressed. <laughs> Storm drop gets what? Two SCVs? That could have gone better. He didn't lose the prism. All right, well, here comes Kier. With that army. He's got all the fixings here. He's got Widowmonts, got ghost tanks, and plenty of bio. Not the, not too many medivacs. There are five on the field right now. I think two more are coming across. And Hero. Just sending everything down. Flings out the disruptor shots. The Zealots wondering... Who's firing them as they lose? He loses a couple. Actually, how many did he? Did he? Hero just killed four zealots. Hero has killed more of his own units than Kira's units now. Oh, that's not great. Storms looking okay, but the tanks. Oh my God. Well, eh, disruptors will ward away for now. But a lot of these units are very badly bruised. But here comes Kira. With reinforcements, the cavalry has arrived. <laughs> wow, what a devastating fight. Hero just kind of flung everything into it, and you really can't afford to do that against that, that Terran army. On top of the fact that Disruptors just shot the Zealots in the back. Not, not an auspicious opening to any sort of build. Well, here closing in. It seems all but inevitable at this point. As even a couple good disruptor hits aren't going to turn the tide. He's lost so many important units. He doesn't have detection against the mines. And Cure, he bit his time. He waited. He built the right army. And then he came in for the knockout punch. Once again, Cure, with a devastating attack takes the game. Put him on match point. Two to one cure over Hero. Hero getting a little cute. 
Uh, I really wanted those storm drops to work. That would have been great clickbait, but they did almost nothing. Almost literally nothing. I, I think the real MVP, the Cloak Manchies, the delayed Manchies. I don't know. Nobody expects the eight minute Cloak Manchies. Oh my. But they did devastating, game changing damage. Which, well. Will it, it, will it work again? I don't even know if that. I doubt that was. I bet Cure's just like. No, no, no. Cure plays enough games. I'm sure that's one of his follow ups to your, your typical opener there. Because remember, that started as a proxy Rex. Well, it started as two proxy Rex. And then he revised his his ambitions to one proxy Rex after the probe showed up. Um, and we just kind of went from there, but pretty decisive game. Puts Kira in the lead. Hero, gonna try his metaphorical hand. Stargate proxy. Been a little while. Is this gonna be Void Rays? I don't think so. I don't think we do Void Rays anymore. Occasionally. It's gonna be a Zealot versus Reaper action. Did Kira scout? He's looking around. Why is he so sus? I mean, these two play all the time. But he is specifically looking for Prox. Yeah. He's, he's very sus right now. Well, we'll see. Or it's going to be an Oracle. There's already a bunker on the way. Yeah, Cure, he knows. He smells the cheese. But he just doesn't know what flavor. Building a tech lab on the factory. Cyclone, very helpful against Oracle. Unfortunately, it takes far too long. Wow. Three minute Oracle. This is obscenely fast. This is maybe the fastest Oracle I've ever seen. Oh my god. He's just killing it. He just walks up like... I don't even know what you do. Well, you can't... If he goes Reaper first and he doesn't scout... You need like a bunk... Well, the Oracle runs out of energy. So what you do is die. And like, hope the Oracle runs out of energy before you take too much damage. That's... That's, that's what you do. Apparently. Because this is obscenely fast. Cyclone shows up. A very present danger. Phoenix on the way to try to break that Cyclone lock. Cure is still at 27 to 26 workers. So even though the Oracle... Um... I... Well, he's gonna... He's waiting to break the lock. He does. He holds the Cyclone up. While the oracles will murder the SCVs. So a clever move. Cure does not auto lock. Does he have it turned off? No, he just made sure to right click. But, um. Very diligent of Cure not to uh, lock on to the Phoenix instead targeting the, the oracles. SCV gets into the main, eventually wanders into the Protoss base and sees essentially everything. So, he knows Blink is on the way, or very likely to be Blink. Looking pretty good. So, uh, the Oracle was fine, but... Just, it runs out of energy. Yeah, that Oracle just can't keep slaughtering SCVs, unfortunately. At least, unfortunately, for you hero fans out there, which I think there might be a few. So... At the end of the day, Kira in a bit of an awkward spot, especially considering his army is three Cyclones and a Viking. But... Oh, wow, that's an incredibly quick storm behind this. I, mean, I, I mean, I guess it could just be for Archons, but it doesn't make much sense to go for, like, two Archons with Blankstalkers. He's just taking 
a very quick third. And Cure didn't scout it. He had a Reaper, but he didn't actually see the third. The most relevant timing. He goes from the incredibly, obscenely fast Oracle Proxy into a bare bones third base here. Because he knows that Cure, one, has a tendency to sit in his base until he feels like he has the army to move out. And two, isn't going to have that army for quite a bit because he was forced into this heavy tech opener in order to deal with the Stargate units. So between the oracles and all that, Hero making big plays here um, and smart moves to deal with the situation Cure has been kind of forced into. Storm on the way. Here, trying to find some sense of normalcy. Got his triple threat. Stim. Combat shield. Plus one. He's got three racks. Reactored starport. Working on a reactored factory. So he's putting together the right army. He spots the robo with a scan, by the way. The robo timing. That is quite relevant. He should know that means... Well, heroes focused on the Twilight units, at least for now. The Robo is something mostly for a Warp Prism early on. Later on, maybe Disruptors and Colossi, but it starts out with the Warp Prism. Clearly. Viking waiting for its opportunity on the left. So, another interesting start. Kind of ending up in this standoff situation in the uh, early mid-game. Where Cure is, is biding his time, waiting until he has an army he thinks can move out. Does he see it? Does he see the stasis? He's not acting like he sees it. Storm is finishing up. Oracle. Yeah, I get that. He does stim the entire army to deal with the proxy star. Takes it out with a vengeance, but Hero taking a fourth. Cure's up like, hey, look at that macro. Look at Cure's supply. It's about the details. It's pretty mundane, but just not queuing. <laughs> stasis hits about as hard as it ever could. There's a trail of breadcrumbs, except there's stasis wards here throughout the map. <laughs> Which is not particularly unexpected. Um, what's happening back here? Pretty sure the Viking wins. I think Hero's coming to that realization. Not by much. Oh, yeah. Another very technical situation. Double Colossus now out of those Robos. It started with Observers. I believe he has a Prism. Yeah. But now we've graduated with four bases into that full-on multi-flavor splash damage. We got Templar and Colossi. Probably three or four Colossi and then Disruptors. An extended Thermal Lance on the way, but he went for Warp Prism speed first. All right. Let's see it. He's got the storms in the prism. He's, he's going home. Come back. I want to see some storm drops. No, hero! No! Not like this! Thankfully he has speed. If he didn't, well, it actually doesn't matter because you can't get away from the cyclones. Hmm. A few stasis. A stasis hits the Widow Mines, which actually just wander out in front. Ah, uh, Casual storm. The most damage being dealt to the medevacs, which are the only thing the medevacs can't really heal here. EMP. EMP. Still, there's shield battery overcharge. Maybe jumping the gun on, on that just a bit. 
but Hero trying to maneuver everything into position. Cure! Just... He has 122 to 93 army supply. So a few more zealots. Anti-armor missile. He's, he's jammed into quite a choke point here. Storm does land on a few of the ghosts. The Colossi... Hero has another army coming in from the north. It's taking its sweet time, though. Uh, a few of the Widow Mines will hit, weathering some storms. Colossi melting through. Siege tanks finally dealt with. Cure's army is evaporating. And Hero... Cure just... He couldn't get anywhere. Uh, caught between a rock and a hard place, except both sides of it were shooting back. I don't... Gear seemed like he had the army supply, but he just couldn't really bring it to bear. Hero caged him in and eventually whittled it down. And uh, that is by no means the game there. That is Hero surviving to fight another army out of Kyr. Another thing though, this time Hero's gone for double upgrades. He has the double forge. Whereas Cure is only upgrading plus two infantry weapons. He's slower at that, so he's not going to have these superior upgrades like he has in most of the games. He's not even going to have... He's, the army supply is comparable. And with worse upgrades, you're very reliant on making sure there's no splash damage, which Cure has not done a perfect job of so far this game. Not, not at all, obviously. The Colossi count. Rebuilding, especially since all the Vikings died with that last fight. He has to rebuild them. Cure still has a dangerous army. But Hero, handling it himself, blinks out of a mine. Another one hits from the right. Cleaning as many as he can up. Another hit. Cure trying to fight out on the field. He doesn't want to get cornered. handling it now. Oh. Dancing back. What do we got in there? I assume Templar. I assume correctly. As Hero opts for the gold. Blunks out of another mine. The Templar. There goes, not on point with the EMPs, the storms over everything, overlapping on the front line. Gear loses a lot in the first storm wall. But is there anything to follow it up? Well, he's pushing the Archons into the fray. EMPs across the front line. Immortal barriers are triggered. Boys are pulled off a lot. Colossi still doing terrible damage in the back. Immortals trying to blast their way through. The upgrade advantage does go to Hero. The Vikings, the Metavac's out of energy, and the bio army is gone. Hero, able to power through a bit of a dicey fight, but ends up going his way. And that brings us to match point in this arduous battle between these two top tier players. Game five. Two to Kier, two to Hero. We're going to altitude. We'll see who rises and who falters. <sighs> a dramatic... Oh, God, it's an exhausting fight between these two. I hope you're enjoying. I am. Definitely a different style. Such a personality clash here, really. You can tell how Hero wants to... Essentially, it kind of feels like outplay Cure. Whereas Cure is relying on his mechanics to power through. We'll see who ends up on top. In game five. In the top right, in the red. They keep switching colors on me. Uh, at least it's not a mirror matchup. Like we'd ever show those on YouTube, of course. Uh, we have Hero. And in the bottom left, it's Kira. I have no idea what to expect. 
they've both tried their proxies to varying levels of success. Both have succeeded in the games that they proxied, but... I, I mean, Kira kind of failed his proxy. It, he failed his way into success. He ended up getting the bunker and the banshees, which were kind of unrelated, but it's a big picture thing. And then Hero with the Oracle. I don't think the Oracle did that much. It brought Kira's worker count even. I think Kira had some opportunities to take the game home. He just couldn't quite maneuver his army well enough in order to take advantage of them. Because as always, it seems inevitable that Kira at some point is going to be up 30-40 supply. Just because of his sheer macro. But Hero's careful maneuvering uh, of his splash damage, which hes it feels like he's gotten better at as the games have gone on. Um was enough to hold and then eventually turn the tide double barracks three rags opener on altitude up against a stargate from hero so on paper this stacks up very well for the korean terran as the stargate is is best against a technical opener something that like, like Cyclone or Widowmine Drop. Uh, something that involves Factory Star Party. You don't have as many units. But when it comes to boots on the ground in just Marines and Marauders, there aren't. There's not really anything out of the Stargate that deals with it easily or cleanly. Uh, maybe you can get a Stasis or enough Phoenixes to help chase down units. But it's hard to match the early strength of Stim Marines. Um, from the sky. Phoenix, we try to act like it's a hallucination. He's, he doesn't want it to take damage because then Cure will know it's not hallucinated. Oh, I think he's trying to fake it. I'm not sure if he's getting away with it or not. But he's very much acting like it's a hallucination. He's going to send the second Phoenix out, though. And that will give it away. Yep. Doing what he can. If he can pick up any of the reinforcements, there's another shield battery being built. He already had one. So... Hero taking this very seriously. He's going into Colossus Phoenix. But those Colossi are a long way off. The Robo Bay isn't done. He's got two sentries and two adepts. It's just it's such an old school build. But it checks out. A bunch of a bunch of Marines, a few Marauders, Stim Pack, Combat Shield. Will he scan and stim up the ramp? Gonna make sure there is no third base, at the very least. Engineering bay completes. Lose a couple SCVs here. You're being patient with it. Why are you like this? I mean, he's gonna stim to kill the cyber core at the reaper wall. I kind of love it. But... Now he's, he's stimmed, and that's permanent damage until the medevacs come out. Uh, the immortal drop chase. Juggling forward. He's got to be very careful because Kira could turn around and potentially gun down that prison very quickly. Medevacs on the way. Starport flips over with the factory. Starts with two Vikings. Kind of a crazy choice, especially when he's already stimmed so much of his army. Gonna try to zone out. Something to help deal with both the pr uh, both uh, of the prism. Both the prism and the phoenixes. All right, we got there. I mean, I uh, surgically constructed. Okay, that, that sentence also didn't make sense. Don't worry, moving on. Is that a Colossus drop? Here we go. The Colossus! Oh my god, did Cure predict this? Um, unfortunately, 
This will be shut down almost immediately. Gets five SCV kills. Thankfully doesn't lose the prism. Gravitic drive is done. Which means the prism is able to get away. That extra speediness. But yeah, well, the, the Vikings, the built-in counter to every part of that. Unfortunately, but Phoenix Colossus will be the order of the day. A scan looking for a third cure. Very much trying to keep track of Hero's Economy. As neither player particularly interested in expanding aggressively. Cure only just now taking his third command center in his main. And Hero is slapping it down at his third. Seven minutes in. Almost twice the time you'd expect from a particularly quick one. Plus one infantry weapons is done. And now, well, Cure, gonna sit back and build up. Hero still uh, waiting and watching. He's got three Colossi, plenty of sentries underneath. Continual hallucinated phoenixes, don't want to risk the real deal. Templar Archives on the way. So the, the split here is Stargate into Colossi instead of anything into Storm, into Storm immediately. Ghost Academy in the production tab at the same time as the Templar Archives, which means it shakes out pretty well. Marine sliced up. Looking for observers. Very diligent is Kipper. Doesn't find any. There aren't any to be found at the moment. Storm on the way. So. It does feel like we played a similar style of game out. About all five games so far. The details have definitely shifted, but the general themes have remained very consistent. With Cure building up the right army and usually a larger one than Hero. And Hero continually trying to maneuver and then pull Cure out of position. Sometimes successfully, sometimes very much not. We'll have to see how it shakes out, but this time the Phoenixes get 11 kills. One of them, they'll expect one of us in the wreckage. Theodore. And then the Phoenix flies away, thus defying all of its destiny. Trying to get chased down by the Marines. Fate comes for us all. Despite all the losses, Cure starting to build up that supply lead again. Part of it is Hero's only at one Robo and six gates up against a full five racks with Starport and Factory Cure. He's got one one done. Do we have an armory? No armory. It is... It, he's not going to pull the boys, right? No. Not at the moment, but it's just so much. That's a lot of Terran. Oh no, the Phoenix is down to two. Armory start, second engineering bay. As Cure is not hedging, he's not saying this is everything. He doesn't need to win here. Though it would be nice. A scan. Sees the army forward. Templar in the prism. Does soften up some of it, but gets the prism. Very importantly, Hero rebuilds it. Maybe regretting that decision a bit. Blink is about to finish for the handful of stalkers on the field. Pretty large hand. Well, and only six of them at the moment. Kira's actually backing off. Is he not confident with the complexity of his army right now? He's at 195 supply. Um, two two starts plus one ship weapons but it appears cure doesn't want to risk it all splits his army into two strong groups and uh, adds another command center hero not maxed out going to be difficult uh, uh, here his vision is getting knocked down 
Here is diligently taking out the Spylons. There really aren't many observers, because zero is a pretty low number. I don't know how many were killed. None. He hasn't built any observers to this game. He's been relying on units, which are easy enough to kill. Cure is kind of closing in. The noose is tightening. It's almost uh, metaphorical at this point, but he's right there. He actually one-shots the ghosts with feedback. They need to be essentially at full energy for that. Warp Prism tries to get to the main. It's, it is real. The Vikings will chase it down. Cure kind of shifting his units around. Gets the Prism. Looking for another army. Ghosts at the front. EMP lands, wades through the storms. One Colossi does not intimidate Cure. The People's Terran is out for vengeance. And he doesn't care how long it takes. I think right now Cure is, is trying to control Hero's army composition and his economy until 2-2 two, two and plus one ship weapons are done. And once they're done, we're going to see a lot more aggression out of Cure. A lot more commitment to actually fighting as opposed to working around the edges. So, but plus two ground weapons is now done for Hero. So he's got a bit of a timing himself. Ship weapons level one, complete. We don't mind. Hero trying to pin down some of this army. Not quite successful, 15 seconds, 10. Ghosts, oh, here comes Hero. Unfortunately, this is going to be a bit of an anti-timing, as at the exact moment Hero attacks is when plus two finishes for Cure. He's got an army coming together from both sides. The boys are pulled at the front. The Vikings knock down one Colossus, chasing down another. The SCVs lead the charge. Ghosts behind. Stim Marines and Marauders on the high ground. There is no splash damage left. Hero, the Archons are evaporating before they even get close. The Vikings have taken out the Colossi. The Stalkers are no match for the Bio. And the Immortals will get shredded by the Vikings on the ground. And once again, Cure waited for his moment. He waited for his opportunity. He knew he had the shot. And he captured it. Cure at 160. To 120 supply, the disruptor shot could potentially turn it around, but plenty of time to dodge it. Another ruptor popped immediately, and there's just not that much left. Here comes some storms, though, from Hero. Washing over everything, overlapping. They don't stack, though, unfortunately. And that means all these units are still able to power through and cure with his patient People's Terran takes the ESL Cup 3-2 over the number one Protoss hero. Hero just wasn't able to compete. It's such a different style. It's almost like he's he's a little slower and uh, that throws players off. Hero clearly wanted to get out there, put some aggression on, but Cure come to me young man. I don't, I, I don't know if Hero's older than Cure. This is, it's a metaphor. I don't, but a patient, solid Terran. Nothing we haven't seen before, but always fun to watch. Thank you for watching. I hope I made your day a little bit better. Congratulations to Cure. And remember, 1,065 likes. Cast another series. Hopefully a little more fast-paced, but we'll see. Thank you for watching. Good luck, have fun. I'll see you next time. Stay chill.